All right, these locker room shots brought to you by P3, the official protein snack of UFC. And not hard to see why Dana White envisions this as the fight of the night. May want to reinforce the bolts in the octagon, fellas. Joel Romero has certainly been on the cusp of UFC gold in the past. Hasn't quite broken through. That said, though, his focus at 42 years of age still on the belt, and he can move closer by bouncing Brazilian Paulo Costa from the ranks of the unbeaten. Costa, a knockout artist of the highest order. He believes he will handle... He will hand that fate, I should say, to the durable Olympic silver medalist here tonight in Anaheim. Eu acho que fisicamente eu tô evoluindo a cada camp. Todo mundo nesse camp aqui está empenhado em me deixar mais pronto, mais afiado para nocautear. Ninguém aqui espera menos do que o um nocaute. This is a knockout artist who throws bombs. He's an enormous, terrifying, fast middleweight. He is undefeated, and he is one of the hottest young prospects out of Brazil. Eu acredito que os meus golpes são um, uma coisa ser temível por qualquer um dessa divisão e até de categorias acima. Oh, he's hurt. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's it. This could be it. Mis planes siguen siendo los mismos en la UFC desde cuando entré a las artes marciales mixtas. Llegando el cinturón a mi cintura, ser el campeón de esta división, darle la gloria a Dios, besar a mi familia y coger unas buenas vacaciones después de darme el cinturón. When you talk about a guy that's just really incredibly gifted physically, Yoel Romero is the guy that comes to mind. Yoel Romero might be the best athlete in MMA. La vida me ha demostrado que se hace, y después que se hace, se sigue haciendo, no se habla, no se hecho hablarán por sí solo. Él evitó esa luta o cuanto él puede, si él pudiese, él no lutaba, no lutaba conmigo, y él va a ser el cara que va a me llevar para el Suggested this matchup with Yoel Romero booked for a second time might be too much too soon. I would submit to you that we won't know how good Costa is until we see him against the division's elite getting his first crack at one of them tonight, Jeff. I couldn't agree more. On paper, yeah, it looks like they're rushing. But when you look at his fights, when you look at the way he destroyed former champion Johnny Hendricks, when you look at the way he smashed Uriah Hall, he's a special fighter. He hasn't been tested inside the octagon. I mean, Hall caught him with some good jabs and tagged him a couple of times, but he ultimately beat him down. And he's been able to do that to every single man that has stood across him inside that octagon. He's so exceptionally talented that this leap to fight the best of the best in Yoel Romero doesn't seem like much of a stretch. The one thing that we haven't seen out of Paulo Costa is going the distance. And if there's a guy that can do it, it's somebody like Yoel Romero who's very hard to hit. But more than that, he can put you on your front at any moment. He's so explosive, so fast that he can take you down. That t has tended to really make people gun-shy against him. Will that make Paulo Costa gun-shy? That's the question we don't know yet. But there's no reason to doubt this man now, 12 and 0, knocking everybody out. He still has the tools to knock out Yoel Romero. The question is, will the tactics of Yoel Romero outweigh the hunger and the grittiness of this young up and comer? Costa went through 20 sparring partners over the last eight weeks. These fighter odds brought to you by Poker Stars. 
pound for pound the greatest online poker experience in the world. Take on the best to win millions of prizes every day on Poker Stars. We have seen this line tighten a little bit here during fight week. Yoel Romero still holding as the favorite, minus 150. Paulo Costa in the plus 120 range tonight. He has hit the proven ground. He now awaits the soldier of God. in the world who has yet to realize the UFC championship belt. Here is Yoel Romero, 2000 Olympic silver medal in freestyle wrestling. And everyone who faces this man, Joe, they live to tell about it, but they have some stories for life. Everyone, every single one who gets in there with him, they say he feels like he's made out of iron. If you look up athletic freak in the dictionary, this guy comes to mind. This is the man. I mean, he's a real savage when it comes to his wrestling, his ability to explode and close the distance, his ability to compete at an elite level. He's a truly, truly exceptional man. And to be able to still fight at this with no sign of slowing down at 42 years of age, it's unbelievable. John Jones, Alex Gustafson, number one, is my favorite fight to ever watch. This guy is my favorite athlete to watch in the octagon. I'm like a kid right now, such a fan, that this is when I really love my job. I get to watch these guys and see why they're the best in the world. This man beat some of the greatest wrestlers on earth and made them look like they've never wrestled in their life. That is something that I grew up in the sport of, watching this man. He's 42 years old, still competing at the highest level, still looking like he's 26. It's incredible. The difference in their styles is Paulo Costa puts tremendous pressure on you, constantly moves forward, whereas Yoel will lull you into a false sense of security and then explode. And his ability to cover distance is truly exceptional. The love that this guy experiences all across the world because of his incredible ability is also amazing to watch. And we talk so much about the physical gifts, Joe, but maybe not enough about the high flight IQ, his ability to make adjustments. Six third-round knockouts in the UFC, and in some of those fights, he has really had to rally. So, Yoel Romero with another opportunity in front of him tonight. He says, I don't need to prove anything. I want to challenge myself. Thus, I signed on the dotted line. Detail the tape for this featured top middleweight division is brought to you by Modelo. Brewed for those with a fighting spirit, Yoel Romero. Born in 1977, Paolo Costa was not. He is 28 years old. Costa, the taller man by one inch. Yoel Romero has the reach advantage of an inch and a half. All right, now for the particulars back inside to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. If you see first, fighting out of the blue corner, a striker holding an undefeated professional record, 12 wins, no losses. He stands. Six feet one is tall, weighing in at 186 pounds. Fighting at a cottage of Minas Gerais, Brazil, presenting the number seven ranked middleweight contender in the world, Paulo the Eraser. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a big martial artist holding a professional record, 13 wins, 3 losses, he stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 184 and 1 half pounds, fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, by way of Pinar del Rio, Cuba, presenting the 2000 Olympics freestyle wrestling silver medalist and the number two ranked middleweight contender in the world, Yoel, soldier of God, Romero! And in the action video, a referee in charge, Jason Herzog. Big assignment for one of the best of the business, Jason Herzog, Brittany Palmer. Thank you, dear. Paolo Costa. And Yoel Romero initially linked to fight at UFC 230 last November. Stop, that ready? did not happen. It is happening here and now. Tonight's fight clock is brought to you by Modelo Group. For those with a fighting spirit, Romero is in red. Out of the southpaw stance, Costa going orthodox. He is in black.
Yoel has been spending some time doing Taekwondo with uh, oh, oh, he landed. landed. High kick. Straight to a double. Nice defense. By Good Costa. uppercut and a scramble. Furious, explosive movements early out of both athletes. Costa trying to close the distance now. It is amazing how green Costa was when he showed up on season three of the Ultimate Fighter in Brazil. Oh! He got him! He clipped He's him! Hurt. He's hurt. <laughs> oh! This is what we knew would happen. Oh my goodness. Back and forth. Just dropping each other. <laughs> and in that Colin Costa just laughed at him. Looks like the Romero oh. corner calling for some elbows. Noel's not going to hear that advice. Costa to the body now. Good kick to the body there by Costa. How calm Romero stays. Both these guys threw so out. much power. Costa went in with an elbow. Romero able to avoid it. Nice counter left there from Yoel. Romero just so fluent. Like he never really overreacts to anything. He just kind of lets it flow out of the way, the way he moves. Paulo Costa like a piece of granite just throwing rocks at him. It's crazy. to keeping the pressure. Nice. Oh. He like rolls and then comes back with the left, double left. Oh! He tagged him with that right hand. A good kick to the body. He all seems to be eating one and then trying to fire back after eating it. I don't know if this is the best idea of being square on the fence with this man. The He's taking some hard shots to the body too. Costa doing a nice job raising the guard there. This is a high pace first round. Oh, that landed oh. right through the guard. Nice knees to the body by Costa. Oh, oh what happened? Did Con. he hit him low? Con. Costa maybe Con. disputing. Right here. Interesting. Right here. Where that knee there. landed, we'll I take a look back there. at it. Jason Herzog already has acknowledged that it was accidental. As many of you know, Romero has up to five minutes with which to recover. Yeah, right on the uh, cut there. No doubt about that one. Yeah. Fighter, hey. yeah, no yeah. Doubt. And Jason, For those of you at home, it is delayed. Accident. Yes, there's a little Careful, bit of a here. beat, and then... Uh, it's also a, a nice break. Stop. Hey, stop. This so. actually helps the fans because you got two guys that are both getting their energy back. <laughs> it's both extremely strong. Yeah, that's a good way to look at it. <laughs> really, it's good for both guys right now. Here. It okay. is. Yeah. You're going to see a crazy yeah. rest of this round after this five-minute break is yeah. up because I'm Stop sure Yo right will here. probably take at least three minutes of it. Oh, he's going to take all the time he needs. <laughs> He'll probably take all five minutes. He's going to stand up. I'm sure he's okay. He's going to. He's in pain, but I'm sure he's going to be okay. He's got a cup on. Look at that. Boom. No doubt about that. That hurts. Look at his face. <laughs> He's playing it up. That'll fold anybody. Yeah. What are the rules on tie cups? Are you allowed to wear a steel tie cup in an MMA fight? Yes. That's all I wear. Okay? That seems so crazy to me that that's still legal. <laughs> so, because, first of all, it provides a, an unnatural fulcrum for arm bars. And two, if you kick it, you're kicking metal. Okay. You're kicking metal, right. I mean, that you're seems good, yeah. nuts. Don't yeah. kick in the nuts. Definitely don't do that. That's, right. that's, <laughs> that's, that's the payback. You kick me in the nuts, you're kicking metal. Here we go. We're back. <laughs> Under two minutes here to go in round one. Romero slips. Costa closes the distance. He's having a hard time with his footing, it seems. Costa goes that inside leg kick. Costa has worked the body to great effect tonight as Romero goes high. Romero has such a weird style. 
was so loose and then he explodes. Look at that. That was like an inside pressing kick. Oh, big Romero. shots by Paul Costa. <laughs> oh! And Romero a... comes back. Romero seems to have a hard time with his footing. Like he's slipping around. Yeah, that's a good read. Oh, man. Brutal body shots by Costa. Oh, wow. The ability of both of these men to eat these power shots sitting this close is absolutely incredible to view. Under a minute in the round. I'll tell you what, anybody who thought Polo Costa didn't belong here, all those questions have been erased. No pun intended. <laughs> oh. Body shot for a next hook. Romero. It's crazy to me that Romero can just throw one shot at a time and land because of how quick he is and the way he hides everything. And he's really not throwing combinations at all. No, but the pressure of Costa is also something pretty incredible to watch. I mean, he's just all over you, uh, just keeping it on him. Oh! That was close, too. <laughs> Romero doing a nice job rolling with some of these Costa offerings. His mouth is open, though, and it, it, it looks a bit fatigued. He can always explode, but he's happy to hear this round. This fight is hydrated by Body Armor Sport Water, the water made for athletes. Find Body Armor Hydration at Circle K. Good, good champion, good champion. Very good, very good. Breathe, breathe. He feel your, he feel your power. This is our hound. He feel your power. The, the front kick, get him. When he's in the fence, you need to fake, come back, punch. Now here's a big left by Paulo Costa. Look at that, right on the chin. Rocked him and hurt him. A right hand by Costa, but now Costa gets dropped. It was really looks like he was more off balance than anything. But Yoel connects there with the left hand. I mean, wild exchanges. And Paul Costa ripped to the body, too. Kept the pressure. And there, Yoel comes up the middle with a flying knee. And then catches him with the right hand as well. Just a wild, wild round. The unauthorized reproduction or distribution of this copyright work is illegal and punishable under law. Round two underway, Yoel Romero, Paulo Costa. Wonder if and when we will see Yoel utilize his wrestling. We I mean, haven't seen Joe. Paulo Costa off his back. Longest UFC what? fight for Costa, seven minutes and 38 seconds. Woo! Man, he hits hard. He, he hits so hard, and his pressure is just incredible. Look at me, just constantly smothering. Goes to the body now, going high again. Beautiful leg kick, hard leg kick. Yoel switch stance immediately, and then he goes to the body. Nemirov, bold character since 1872. Left hook to the body is nasty. Yoel's looking for openings here, but they just don't seem to be there. Footwork also is kind of all over the place. And I think that's oh. just dealing with the pressure that Costa's putting on. He's what a chin on this Romero. Y'all Romero has a wrestling style footwork. That's why it looks all over the place. If you watch in a wrestling match, that's how he moves. And then he adds hands and other movements to it, knees, kicks, but. Right now, Paul Costa is just pouring the heat on, but Yoel seems to be eating it, and just almost like the rope of dope But it's right now he's behind on the number, so he's better start firing. You see, Costa has advanced 51 percent of the time. The thing about Costa that's so terrifying is his durability as well. Uriah Hall hit him with some hard shots, and he barely seemed to notice. And he's enormous for the weight class. 
I agree, Joe. But for me, it's the size of him, the power that he has, and he doesn't get that tired. Yeah. That's what that's what amazes me about Kostin. He doesn't look to get too tired. Well, when I talked to Walid Ishmael about his work ethic, he said it's just incredible. I mean, all the guy does is train. Yeah. He's got some Tony Ferguson qualities, right? Six, seven hours straight. And now we're seeing y'all like land little things here and there. He's got that right jab that he's flicking out. He kind of ate some of the bigger shots earlier in this round from Acosta. Romero has certainly had a pension for the rally in the past, as we acknowledged off the top tonight. And Costa taking a little breather here. Well, it's a lot of offense he's thrown, and this guy's still standing right in front of him. Good jab by Yo, and he's not overcommitting to anything, he's just touching. Yeah, Yo has beautiful hand speed. Just beautiful speed, period. He's just very experienced, Joe. He looks calm, cool, collected. He is eating more shots right now than Costa, but... No, keep fighting, go ahead. Romero disputed that that was an eye poke. Jason Herzog tells them to keep fighting. Under two minutes here to go in the round. This is the longest UFC fight now for Costa. non-stop movement and now you're seeing the hands on the waist to cost this the longest he's ever gone Romero now just the fluidity he never really stops his movement he just Ooh. lets it flow through both these guys are landing on each other a little reset there from Costa big deep breath but he comes in tonight off of the best weight cut of his pro career according to his coaches Romero looked to just weather that early storm, but he's behind on the numbers right now, so I think he's down two rounds. He's going to have to really pick up in this third round, and stylistically, he hasn't tended to do that in the past, so I'm curious to see what he does to make up the difference. Because Acosta's pressure and his offense has just been a little bit much right now. Yo's completely in this fight. Oh, 100%. It would appear to be the fresher fighter here. Yep. He's breaking down slowly but surely. You're seeing the pressure release of Costa. And Costa has stayed committed to the body throughout this fight. It doesn't seem to have necessarily taken its toll on Romero. You're well caught him with that uppercut. Incredibly, Romero, as he goes for the takedown and gets oh, it. There it is. Has been to a third round in his last 10 fights. He will do so again here. This fight is hydrated by Body Armor Sport Water. The water made for athletes. Fine Body Armor Hydration. Let's go. Circle K. You can't feel better than this. Let's go. Careful, careful. Let's go. Sit down. Sit down. Listen, you gotta finish low. You gotta finish low. Your work low is perfect. You gotta keep chopping low. You gotta keep chopping low. Big body kick here that you'll see from Costa. Ouch. Nice right hand, left hook lands. And then you see Yal Romero here with that left, excuse me, right straight, left jab, left, he goes left jab and then eats a body shot there. Both these guys are letting it all hang out. This third round is everything for both these guys. Whoever wins this round wins this fight. Round three is brought to you by P3, the official protein snack of the UFC. On the center explodes here for these two world-class mixed martial arts athletes. Paolo Costa in black, Yoel Romero in red. Less than five minutes to decide this one now. Romero twice touches the inside of that lead leg of Costa, whose volume has waned in the second half of this fight. Left hand lands for y'all there. Oh, right uh, straight. I think a big factor is the fact that Yoel took him down at the end of the second. We may very well see him try to do that again today. In this third, that's what's going to be huge. There's a beautiful kick to the body by Costa. And another one, hard. 
jab hook. Romero retreats, mouth wide open. Ooh, he's eating those, those are big shots. Cost is on him. Nice left straight. Yeah, what, show any of it. He yeah, right. sneaks him in on you. Well, what hides it is the stance switch, move it backwards, the hands are down, he punches the leg, everything starts to look the same, and then it comes down the middle. It's, it's the fluid movement of Yo that, that hides his strengths. Was it on the coat? No, I just think it was you fingers were extended out okay? towards the They're opponent. Dolphin. And Paolo Costa may be using it as an opportunity to catch a breather. Hard to blame him. Both these guys are Do you need a little time? This is a Let me see here. Pace. One moment. Once again, this is for the fans. Ooh, ouch. Doctor yeah. will come here. He's going to speak slowly. That's so weird, yeah. though, right? Both because it's like he walked down, into the hand. Out. It's not like Yoel moved forward and poked him in the eye. Okay, okay. Yoel's Take hand was outstretched. Right He's here. not supposed to have an outstretched put your hand. Hands up, relax. Take a moment. You cannot put your fingers in his eye, yeah? No more. No more. You have a break? Take time. <laughs> Yoel Go. Romero with a thumbs up and a smile. Gotta love it. And and what part from from these two gentlemen? Do not hey! No poking. You no kicking in the groin. Is that good? Three and a half now to go. Ooh, that was a little mark. Six third round finishes for Yoel Romero, tied for the top mark all time in the UFC. This has been a big round for him, obviously, in the past. Body work, Costa. There's two and a half minutes left, and that's when things really start to get hairy in that third round. That rest definitely helped these guys, though, for sure. I'm just amazed that Yoel's not trying to take him down. There's a lot of energy to shoot, especially on this giant. Nice left. Now's the time to shoot, right? And he fires back. That left hand twice snapped Costa's head back. We'll see if Paolo can rally here. Good shots to the body and to the head by Costa. Nice shot by Romero with that right hand guard right on his face. Oh, back foot. Nice. He slipped it through the backhand. Nice up with uppercut. Nice. Good left hand. Turn it up, yo. Oh. Costa says, come get some. Woo! This is what everybody wanted to see. This guy right here. Awesome. Oh! Uppercut from Romero. His left eye pretty swollen at this point. <laughs> Numbers very close. Slight edge in terms of significant stretch for Yoel Romero. Still anybody's fight. Less than 90 seconds now to go. Ooh, nice uppercut again. Those are the best punches, the lefts and the uppercuts for Yoel Romero, especially when he's walking in here. Nice backhand. Back, yeah, back of the hand again. Paulo slowing down a bit here. Finishing the round strong is the veteran. Yoel Romero. Costa's is getting annoyed. Less than a minute to go in a fight that has certainly lived up to the hype and then some. We have a middleweight title unification bout, of course, in October, but tonight's winner will factor prominently in that mix. Man, this guy's 42 years old. He's going the distance right now. Crazy, man. Like nothing. Good front kick to the body. By oh, the there it is. Top. Big headshot. He eats it. Fires right back. Goodness. These guys are durable as I've ever seen. Romero's one of the most durable humans that's ever walked the face of the earth. Period. I agree. It's crazy. You not, the shots is absorbed tonight. Nice Here's inside trip. trip. Huge. Oh, oh Paulo Costa digs the underhook. Reverse tries to reverse it. They get back to their feet. That's a takedown for Costa. 
Or excuse me, take down for you remain. Final seconds of this one, and a standing Woo! ovation at Honda Center well, as Paolo Costa incredible. and Yoel Romero go the 15-minute distance. Mixed martial arts, folks. That was as advertised. That was as advertised. That was one of the rare fights that absolutely lived up to all the hype. Just amazing. Incredible fight. I love that. I love that I got to watch that. <laughs> Paulo Costa came in 12-0, trying to get what would be far and away the biggest win of his professional life. This fight replay is brought to you by Nemiroff Bolt Character since 1872. And we'll look back through some of this. Costa, left hook, just floors Romero. Romero comes back with his own. Got the rope-a-dope here, trying to wear out Costa up on the fence. Big knee up the middle through the guard of Costa, follows up with some big punches. Beats Costa up on the scramble, lands a 2-3. Nice body kick, lands to the ribs of Romero, he eats them all. And these guys just trade back and forth, two threes. Big right straight by Yo. Another body shot by Costa, just trying to take the air out of Romero. And a beautiful run through power double to end the round there. And here's the third round here, Romero really pouring it on. Costa saying nope, and then keeps getting punched. Nice uppercuts landed for Yol. The lefts and the uppercuts were the biggest ones, and this head kick was so close, but Yol eats it like some cookies. Moves on forward. Both fighters seemingly believe they have done enough to win the fight tonight. These fighter stats brought to you by Poker Stars. Now for Pound, the greatest online poker experience in the world. Take on the best to win millions of prizes every day on Poker Stars. Head strikes, decided advantage for Yoel Romero. Paolo Costa, of course, working the body very well. A knockdown on each side. Costa advanced more often than not. Yoel Romero was not given credit for that final takedown by our statisticians, unofficially one for four on his takedown attempts here tonight. Some huge scorecards coming your way here. The official decision brought to you by Metro by T-Mobile. Catch all the action with Metro by T-Mobile's knockout coverage and unlimited data. With the decision now is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest, 29-28, for the winner by unanimous decision, Paulo Fioraso! Paulo, that was an incredible fight. That was one of those fights that lived up to the hype. Was this the fight that you were expecting? Hey guys. Hey, one minute, one minute. Please, and I hang. I bring my best for this fight. I train, I train like a crazy man. For God, uh, I, I am here today to fight against this beast. Your Romero is a real beast. You know, this guy, I expect a lot of y'all. Come here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> hey. Look, I just come here to take, to make one, one, one thing, take my belt. I will be waiting for Adesanya, skinny claw Adesanya against Whitaker. And after this fight, I want my chance to prove I am their champion. Paul Costa, ladies and gentlemen. Well, crowd didn't like the scorecards. They certainly liked the fight. 
It goes to Paolo Costa by unanimous decision. First career win by decision. 13 up, zero down for the eraser, Paolo Costa. We've seen Yo Romero lose decisions before that I thought he won, and you know, you'd never know what the judges are gonna see. When you go to the scorecards, you never know what the judges are gonna see. I don't know what they're seeing. <laughs> But it's fun to, to, to let these fights go on and watch these guys just let it all hang out. I mean, it was one of the most incredible fights I've seen in a long time. A long time, and you love being a commentator and not a judge.